This video is going to cover the addition rule and is going to be a good little bit of practice for Venn diagrams. So the addition rule says that the probability of A or B, which is all these three sections here, could be A, could be B, could be both, is equal to the probability of A, which is this bubble here, plus the probability of B, but then take away the overlap. Let's put that into practice in a real life question. So the probability of A and B are 0.4 and 0.5. And the probability of A or B in this question is 0.6. Find the probability of A and B. Well, this is simply using the formula. So we know the probability of A is 0.4. We know the probability of B is 0.5. And we know that A or B is 0.6. Putting that in the formula, you get 0.4 plus 0.5 is 0.9. And 0.9 take away 0.3 is 0.6. So the probability of A and B is 0.3. Remember, A and B is simply the middle section. One final recap. So the formula says that you add A, all of A, you add all of B, and you take away the overlap because you double counted it to get the probability of A or B. So we can simply use the formula for that question A. For part B, it's the probability of not A. So let's start to fill in our diagram. We know that the overlap is 0.3. And we know that the probability of A is 0.4 overall. So for the whole bubble, see that 0.4 here? That's the whole bubble. So what must this section be if it adds up to 0.4? This must be 0.1. And we know B adds up to 0.5, the whole bubble of B, including the middle bit. So what must this section be? It must be 0.2 to add up to 0.5. Okay, now we know the whole Venn diagram has to add up to 1, so we can simply add these up, and you get 0.6, so the outside bit must be 0.4. This should help us to answer the question. What do they want? For part B, they want the probability of not A, it's just everything that's outside of A's bubble. So this section and this section, both of those sections are outside of A's bubble. That would be 0.6. 0.2 plus 0.4. So B would be 0.6. Question, let's see, C is the probability of A or not B. Now remember, when it's an or, it's like a smiley face and it's quite generous. So all they want is just one of those two. So it could be A, because that would tick this one, or if you don't want that, it could just be not B, which would be this section as well, because that's not B. Either one of those two, they're happy. So it's these three sections you would have to add up. 0.4 plus 0.3 plus 0.1 is 0.8. So question C, the answer is 0.8. Feel free to rewind the video and watch again, because I'm going quite fast. Question D, the probability of not A or B. So again, it's a U shape, so it's quite relaxed. It's an or. It just wants one of them. It doesn't really matter which one. So it could be not A. And not A would be here and here. Or it could be B, which is this section. Adding those together, these three yellow sections, you get 0.9. So the answer to D would be 0.9.